The following video will introduce you to topology optimization using Genesis Structural Optimization for ANSYS Mechanical or GSAM. GSAM is an integrated extension that adds topology, topography, shape, freeform, sizing and topometry optimization to the ANSYS environment. The extension provides a reliable, robust and easy to use interface which allows designer to set up structural optimization problems, post-processing them and export the data within the ANSYS environment. This video is intended to GTAM users as well. GTAM stands for Genesis Topology Optimization for ANSYS Mechanical and is dedicated to topology optimization. Topology optimization is used to find the optimal distribution of material in a given design space based on all applied loading conditions. The material will be removed from the topology region such that the remaining elements can provide the stiffest possible structure. Topology optimization is typically used by designers to perform conceptual designs. It can be used with static, non-linear contact, eigenvalue, buckling, dynamic and heat transfer load cases. Let's start with an example. The objective is to minimize the mass of control arm subjected to two displacement constraints. Now open the ANSYS workbench. A static structural solution with two different load cases has already been set up in ANSYS workbench. Now I will switch on the Genesis ACT extension in ANSYS. The Genesis icon will show up in ANSYS Workbench toolbox. Now open the ANSYS Mechanical to visualize the model by double clicking on model cell of load case 2. As you can see, Genesis Structural Optimization toolbar is added in ANSYS Mechanical with GSAM extension. Now go back to Project Schematic window. I will bring the Genesis extension into Workbench simulation so that it shares the existing model information. Click and hold on Genesis icon in ANSYS toolbar and drop it on model cell of load case 2. Now in ANSYS mechanical we can set up the topology optimization. Open the ANSYS mechanical. Make sure that Genesis node shows up in the project tree. Now from Genesis Structural Optimization toolbar, push Topology Regions button to add Topology Regions node. Next I will select the designable region for Topology Optimization. Select the center portion as Topology Region so that other three fixation geometries will remain unchanged. Now I will add filling fabrication constraints. Filling constraints are imposed to satisfy the fabrication requirement such as castability. Select fill Z axis for constraint 1. Now I will select the local coordinate system for manufacturing constraints. I have already created a local coordinate system named center whose origin is conveniently located to enforce a symmetric condition. Enter the initial mass fraction as 1. Initial mass fraction is the percentage of material that user chooses to start the optimization with. At the first design cycle, each element in the topology region will be assigned a density value same as the initial mass fraction value. Now select yes for the minimum size control. Enter 4 for minimum member size. For spread fraction, enter 0.5. For power rule, enter 6 for RV1. If you want to minimize the mass subjected to displacement constraints, the use of RV1 equal to 6 is recommended which will help to get more polarized answer. Next, I will define the topology design objective. From Genesis Structural Optimization toolbar, push the objective button. 
select the mass as the response type. For a goal, make sure that minimization option is selected. Now next step is to define design constraints. Push the constraint button to add constraint node. Add another constraint node. For constraint 1, select displacement as the response type. Select grid selection by remote point. Select remote point 2. For constraints, select global coordinate system. For component, select translation magnitude. For load case selection, select the first load case by selecting yes. Select no for second load case. Click on apply. Now enter the upper bound for constraint 1. Now for second constraint, select displacement as the response type. Select grid selection by a remote point. Select the remote point 2. For load case selection, select second load case. Now enter the upper bound. From the Genesis Structural Optimization Toolbar, add Topology Density Plot and Topology Density Isosurface Plot. Now right click on Genesis and push Solve. This will take some time, so I will skip the solve time. The topology density plot shows the density value for each element. It is the topology design variable value for each element. The value ranges from 0 to 1. A value close to 0 means the element should be removed and the value close to 1 means element should be kept. The topology density isosurface plot draws the density isosurface for a given lower cutoff value. The given lower cutoff value will be used to construct the topology density isosurface. A surface is generated such that it passes throughout the model wherever the element density has the specified cutoff value and encloses all regions where the density is greater than the given cutoff value. To set the lower cutoff value, turn on the capped isosurface. Now you can move the slider to change the value. It is very important to note that this lower cutoff value has nothing to do with mass fraction of the model. This cutoff is only used to determine which element should be included in the topology results. Any element with a density value less than this cutoff value will be excluded. A good cutoff value is one that creates a continuous structure. You can export the optimized structure as a STL or IGS file. Go to analysis settings under coarsened surface change the level of details to 20. This value ranges from 0 to 20. A value of 20 will generate a model with the most details. Now from structural optimization toolbar, click on export course and surface button. Now select the location where you want to save the file. You can open this file using ANSYS space claim or any other CAD program. This completes the demo. I hope that it has helped you to get familiar with implementation of topology optimization in GSAM and GTAM. If you would like to learn more, I invite you to check other videos about GSAM. For additional information, please visit our website at www.vrand.com. 
or email us at gsam.support at vrand.com. Thanks for watching.